Welcome to Scrapyard Wars 2, Episode A, Part 1. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So, today we've got a new challenge. Instead of just building a budget PC, we're gonna build a budget PC and then we're going to water cool it. We're gonna have a full budget of $500, $300 for our computer and a maximum of $200 for the water cooling parts. But there's a twist. We cannot use any off the shelf PC water cooling gear. Nada. So it'll be judged in five sections. One, creativity. Two, effectiveness. Three, aesthetics. Four, acoustics. And then five is just overall. We're gonna have a few ground rules as usual. So number one is it's tower only. We don't have to source a monitor and keyboard and mouse. Number two is that there's no pre-work or in-between work. We weren't allowed doing research before the event and we're not allowed doing research like after work or anything. And number three is gonna get a bit of a curveball this time. Last time we said no help from friends, family, coworkers, social media contacts, whatever. This time we're going to allow it, but the panel of judges has been instructed that they are to deduct points from us depending on how much we take advantage of anyone other than our own wits. And last isn't really rules, but we're just gonna define what constitutes as a water cooling component. So there's cooling blocks, so your CPU water block or potentially GPU water block or whatever the heck else you decide to cool. Um, fittings, tubing, radiators, fans, pumps, reservoirs, or the coolant. So that's it. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Scrapyard Wars. <laughs> Scrapyard Wars. The time is now 2.30, go! Before we start? All right, you can count it. I know mine's right. 12, 9, 13, 9, 8, 7, 12, 15, 28, 13, 12, 17. Okay. <laughs> we are just gonna charge on out of here as if we have some idea of what's going on. Let's just wave by. He's leaving, all right. I'm not gonna look at him. I'm gonna let him waste time by harming me. Are they ignoring us? It's okay, we'll get their attention. They're gone. I think they're gone. <laughs> Bye. I kind of have a plan for this video. There is no performance judgment criteria. So it actually doesn't matter what PC that we decide to use. So instead of stressing out about building a great PC, I'm gonna go straight for water cooling parts and I'm just gonna kinda water cool whatever PC I find. Something that's actually critical for me is the lifeline component. Unlike Luke, I am planning to use the lifeline. In fact, my strategy hinged on it so much that I was very, very afraid we weren't going to allow them. So Luke and I disagreed strongly about whether we should be allowed to have any kind of outside help. I said yes, he said no, and Nick was actually the one who saved my bacon here by settling it and saying, okay, it should be allowed, but the judges should factor it in because I have a neighbor who might be able to help me a little bit with this, even though I know that I'm giving Luke the ability to leverage his dad, who is crazy handy and has a lot of tools. I want to find a, uh, a computer really quick so I can figure out the whole layout for the socket so that I can try to start making blocks pretty much immediately. Um, so I don't want to spend a ton of time looking for a computer. but I don't want it to be like garbage either. I'm gonna go to probably an auto junkyard to find my radiator. I'm heading to the pet store now for my pump. I really don't have a plan in terms of the reservoir, but I'm hoping that, um, that I can come up with some kind of a good idea as far as that's concerned. And then the blocks. The blocks are gonna be the challenge. And that's where my neighbor comes in. He has a CNC mill. So we are going to try to actually make a CPU block, like a decent CPU block, and a full cover GPU block. That is the plan right now. So let's get some trash talk going early, hey? You suck, lol. Yeah, 
take that, Luke. What a dick. I'm not gonna play his silly little games. Time to be a man. Okay, so we're looking at pumps. And, uh, hmm. These are all air pumps. Okay then. Okay, so unfortunately, they're doing some rejiggering of their inventory, and the only one they have is this one right here, which is like 80 bucks. But they suggested that maybe if we go to Canadian Tire, we can find something. I am interested in finding something that's submersible, though, since one of the judgment categories is acoustics, and having a submersible pump will make my system very quiet. So that yeah, won't help me for now, though. I mean, really, we're not going about this the most efficient possible way right now, but frankly, I'm not that concerned. We've got three days to pretty much build and water cool a computer and not get run over. So, I don't know, maybe I should be more worried, but I think we got this. Hi there, I saw your gaming tower ad on Craigslist. Um, I was just wondering if you could give me a deal if I didn't take the monitor, keyboard, or mouse. Two hundred bucks. Two Yeah. Yeah, I could do two hundred. Okay. Uh, can I come pick it up right now? Yeah. Cool. So he has a. It's a classic case, as you can see there. You guys are gonna turn the monitor like that. Um, so you guys remember that case maybe from a long time ago. It's not the greatest looking case, but it's a classic case. He does have a graphics card in it, but it's super boring. Um, it's not the most interesting thing ever, but it'll work. And I got it for 200 bucks. So I have $100 to splurge on potentially an old graphics card that looks nice and potentially a better case. Because I saw some cases on there that were like 40 bucks and uh, looks really nice. I don't want to do something as ghetto as like a sawed off milk jug, but... Yeah, I don't know what to use. Maybe like, um, maybe like one of those big gulp drink containers on the top with like, like fittings coming down into the system or something. Why not one of those, uh, little goldfish aquarium things that are like terrible that you shouldn't use. Should I put a goldfish in my loop and a filter? We could store our goldfish in one of these. Seems harmless. Okay, so here's a submersible pump. $110, that would be literally over half of our budget. Um, there's cheaper stuff here, but like, the cheapest one, oh, no, at, oh, okay, hold on a second. The cheapest one is $13, but if that's the kind of flow rate we're talking about, and only a one-year warranty, then 20 bucks get us 70, gets us 75 gallons per hour. You know what, we should remember this. I'm not gonna buy it now, but that actually may be a solution. Whenever he's gonna do something that's like cheating or borderline cheating, uh, he usually makes sure that there's very defined rules around it um, so that he knows specifically how he can go around those rules. So I'm wondering if he's going to just try to find things that are essentially the same, but are not technically for water cooling. I might, yeah, I might source another graphics card. I might source a new case, although this is a fairly classic case, so I might also stick with this guy. There's also a bit of metal, and I'm gonna be modding it quite heavily, so there you go. So if you can't. Okay, so this thing sucks, but there's a lot of metal which I'm actually super down with. But getting a better graphics card at this point is gonna be a little sketchy because I was pretty sure in his ad, I could totally be wrong, but I was pretty sure in his ad, I'm gonna put this in the back, um, that he showed a 750 watt power supply. That might've been the other computer I was looking at. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Maybe no new graphics card, probably new case because that one's actually fairly scratched up. Um, so we're gonna go home and try to go to Princess Auto because if I can get a block working for the CPU and like that, that's gonna be the hardest thing. So if I can source some materials and start trying to make a block work at all um, and I'll just make it for the CPU, then I'll, then I'll know that I have the methodology down. 
then I should be able to do it again for the graphics card. So I'll just do one at once and then try to reproduce that instead of trying to deal with getting two of them working at the exact same time. Okay, so the last real store I want to go to before I start um, calling places and browsing online is Home Depot, just because I think this is where I can probably find the tubing I need. And that's the one piece of the puzzle where I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to find it used. So I need to know how much that costs before I shop for everything else. So that whole strategy where you leave your car unlocked because there's nothing valuable in it anyway, only works if you don't leave your like razor blade in your car. <laughs> They're like not that crazy expensive. Like this, this could work. Uh, if I decide to bail on the, on the reservoir outright, then I've got my key line. So that's only uh, 250 here at Home Depot. So it's time to do some napkin math. Let's figure out how much we know we're spending and then how much we have we have left to spend. So, um, so buying new, we need 20 here. We need about 10 here. Actually, we should call that 25 because of tax. Uh, reservoir, you know what? I think I'm gonna lock into the T-line. So that gives us about $150 for radiator. So pump, we can get away with saving one by getting us, oh no, we can't have a submersible pump now because of the res. Ooh. We need to obtain a reservoir if we use a submersible pump. Shoot. So Canadian Tire really didn't like us. We got threatened to be thrown in court, so all that footage is gonna be thrown away. But basically, their actually super helpful auto parts guy got me a part number for their cheapest radiator, which is $108, so that's... Not that cheap, but could be workable in the budget. I know the pump that I'm looking for is also about $45, $50. So that's 150 bucks out of my budget right there. And I would still need metal and fittings and a fish tank and tubing. So I probably can't afford all of that. I didn't think the radiator was gonna be hard. Um, so I would be looking for something fairly inexpensive, but and preferably with a fan already on it, but I'm not super picky about what exactly it is. See radiator core for $25? I'd be looking for a car radiator, but I just, I don't really care which one it is. I'd just be looking for something relatively small, like... Okay. Do you guys have any salvage radiators that I could pick up? Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Oh, really? Wow, you're the, yeah. you're the first person with good news that I've talked to in the last hour. Um, what would I be looking at for something like that? I don't have a huge budget for it. Uh, yeah, under the $50 range kind of thing, but uh, since you're not really fussy as to what radiator, I'm sure I can take something out for 50 bucks. Okay, all right, thank you so much. All right. Copper pipe. Oh, here's some 20 bucks. Half inch, half inch gas pipe, new. Okay, let's, let's just, let's call. Hi, I'm calling about the copper pipe. And I mean, is there anything wrong with it? Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. 30 to 50 feet. That could work. So here's where we're at. We've got two leads on PCs. The plan with the copper tube is that I'm basically just going to like bend it up and jam it inside the case so that it can take advantage of any of the airflow that's already coming through the case to cool the CPU and, and hopefully the GPU. So there it is. There's our there's our copper copper tubing. So in terms of bendability, it looks like I will be able to hand bend it. I don't know with what amount of precision. We have our first part. Again, I'm not too concerned about the PC. And we have one cooling component with leads on most of the rest. It was a good day today. Oh shit. I just realized I'm gonna have a mixed metal loop. I was planning to use a heater core or something, which is a lot of them are made of aluminum. And then I was planning to make aluminum blocks. Now that I have the copper tubing, I'm gonna have to budget for some kind of a corrosion inhibitor. The judges probably won't know that anyway. Next time on Scrapyard Wars. Linus whips it out. Oh my goodness, it's so long. And Luke comes into a serious situation with the Dremel tool. He always had three fingers, right?